Hello, I'm Dr. Martha Lacey. I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I've just presented the results of our Phase two trial of Revlimid and Dexamethasone for newly diagnosed myeloma patients. This was a Phase two trial for newly diagnosed patients. We entered 34 patients onto the trial, and they were all treated with Revlimid and Dexamethasone. Um, Initially, the dose of dexamethasone was the standard pulse dex with four days on, four days off. The Revlimid dose was 25 milligrams daily for 21 days each month. Patients were allowed to continue on the trial at the patient's and doctor's discretion or go off the trial at, after four months of therapy in order to do a stem cell transplant. The dexamethasone was the standard 40 milligrams a day for four days on, four days off. For, three, for a total of three four-day treatments each month. The uh, patients were allowed to either stay on the trial after four months or go off the trial at four months in order to per pursue stem cell transplant. We previously reported results of this trial, but it reflected only the first four to six months of treatment and really only reflected response rates. It didn't reflect the durability of the response rate, survival, or progression-free survival. So we are updating this trial now with, uh, to include the long-term results. Thirteen of the patients elected to go on to transplant after four months of therapy, and 21 patients elected to stay on the Revlimid and Dexamethasone. Among the overall group, there was a 91% remission rate, including a 56% remission CR plus VGPR remission rate, 18% of which were CRs. Among the 21 patients who elected to go on to stay on the Revlimid and Dexamethasone, that CR plus VGPR rate was 67%. The um, median time to progression has not yet been reached, but the estimated uh, median time to, prog to progression is 28 months, which compares uh, favorably to the Atal double transplant series in which the median time to progression was 29 months. To clarify, the patients that decided to remain on the study continued their Revlimid at the standard doses but cut the dexa dexamethasone dose to 40 milligrams for four days once a month as a maintenance treatment. Toxicity was quite mild. All patients received aspirin prophylactically and there was only uh, one pulmonary embolus in the entire group and no DVTs. The uh, main toxicity was fatigue, which occurred in 21% of patients, and neutropenia, which also occurred in 21% of patients. Notable was our survival, which was 90% at two years. This compares favorably to transplant series, which ranged between 75 and 80% at two years, and is comparable to what Palumbo re reported with MPT, which was also about 90%. Notably, we did not see any neuropathy. Overall, this trial is notable because it shows that uh, induction with Revlimid and dexamethasone followed by maintenance therapy with Revlimid and lower doses of dex provides very high remission rates, very durable remissions, and excellent overall survival. This needs to be, it compares favorably with virtually all the regimens out in the literature now, and it needs to be further pursued with randomized trials.